Hi, welcome to another episode of Colorado Forest Beans. I'm Cali, and today we have the two peaks where the UFO and the fighter jet flew by me not long ago. Right up above this, we have this giant stone. As you can see, it's got a very interesting shape like a bird that's flying that way as it's facing in the opposite direction, which is the valley. It's got a direct connection view with the sand dunes, Mount Blanca, and almost all of Sangre del Cristo. And in here, it's got a nice hut. It's very protective. It looks like it's black. Maybe someone made a fire in here. I hope you guys are liking the episode so far. Please do me a favor and make sure you do a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, I made it to the pyramid I pointed to the other day. That's the top of it. I'm exploring all around right here. I have a perfect walkway. And you can see the stones right here lined up on the ground. It's got a stop right here. And then look at the stones going up to that one there. And then you follow the stones, follow the stones, and you go up to those levels up there. On the way, this is here, which is pointing up there. So let's have a look. And the view of this from this side. With some stones propped. This is sort of like the first level. Okay, so do you see this rock right there? That's where the walkway is coming through to where I'm at right here. And there's that other stone behind that I was just at that points to this rock up here. But what I'm looking at is that the entire way that I'm taking following stones, following stones into megaliths up to that right there is also being used by the game, by deer. As if they know the ancient walkways are easier to transit than just going up a hill. Just look at it. It's clearly transited by game. And we're going to that rock right there. Which ironically, hmm, looks like a big nose, big nose, the eye, mouth. And the fella is kind of sad, but pointing at the same location that all the other faces point to. And that's the valley. Yeah, we look at it from here. Got the ear, the eye, the nose, the mouth. It's a walkway going that way, and this is the other side. <sighs> Let's keep going. Just making my way up here, and there's a beautiful cactus that's in flower right now. And that is an old seed pod right there. That flower has already become seeds. Yeah, that's a cool quartz vein. I'm gonna try to get one of those pieces off out of there. Go around real quick. This one here, you can see it. And then you have the vein right here. And I took a piece that was here. I just pulled it out. It's just a cloudy quartz, but I'm gonna still take it. Right below the vein of quartz is this.
So I connected with the land, gave thanks to the holy water that gives us life. Look at that fly right here by the water. Even the fly knows where the life is. And I was looking here and I realized there's a piece of stump right here that, that was either hit by lightning or burnt with something. This dark charcoal piece of stump and there's no other burnt piece of wood around here. There's just these stones here. There's the quartz vein on top. So maybe this was done to mark the quartz vein. Somebody burnt the stump to mark the location. I'm not sure, but that's pretty interesting how there would be that pothole there and that random burnt stump up here up the hill. The pothole, I just made my way through here. And there are a bunch of stones crumbled right here in front of this, which I find very peculiar, facing the same direction as everything else. Would you look at that, my friends? Another casualty, another coincidence of the ancient ruins. Right below this up here, which we're gonna go visit with a stone in the back supporting it. There it is. Really checking me out. Really checking me out. Wow. He's never been this close. just beautiful guys that is unreal look at the incline it's on a hard incline I'm right here walking around it the curl's still flying above got this beautiful guy right here but look at this angle here Way up to that right there. Massive stone standing straight up. And look at this the perfection down to the details. And look at that shim right there. That's the shim that's keeping this stone from coming down the hill. Look at it from this angle. More little stones in there as well. That's a shim, my friends. That's not that the sand around it eroded and that got exposed like that. These are little shims, perfect shims. Look how tall this rock is, huge, 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 huge. Yeah, and what is it? What is it? Another face, huh? Look at that, unbelievable. Another face, bearded, the eye, nose. Look at that, guys. That's what's being propped up from the other angle. This is a face from this angle and it's getting hit by the sun right now. That is incredible. Yeah, don't forget the little stone stack is right there, right below this, right there, that I just came up from. Yeah, look at the stone from this angle, how it's not part of that and it's got a support stone in the back. Yeah, this is even more interesting than the rock and the face and the stuff that I always show you. But look at this pile of rocks right here. All the little rocks with uh, pines, cactus. Look at the amount of little quartz that have been collected right here. Right behind this, what seems to be like a face. It's also feldspar and quartz with the support stone in the back as I make my way up the megalithic walkway. Look at all the stones right there. When you see 
lines that's not natural that's been placed there that's a symbolic wall we have to go up and over that and that little thing that's sticking out is marking the way up and over let's make it happen this here is the pointy thing i said i would follow up the hill right next to the wall and we've got a marker here something up there and a bunch of crumbles right there so let's go up and over at the point the point that one also propped up which i didn't see from the other angle and look at another stone put up on top of there like that another small one marking the way with these stones right here that looks suspicious as it's been placed there that looks very suspicious to me as well the slab going across this here stone on top of stone on top of stone with the pack rat rocky pack rat nest look at the trail of stones right in front as well and all over. this one here is just dangling right there with a triangle in the back sign 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 bunch of little stones packing these stones right there to come up these stones here don't look like they're from here it looks like they've been placed here in a line facing down with the head of it up here at the top suspended like i show you every time in the ancient ruins Just checking out this peak here with the megalith right there and I'm just kind of looking at the place I got to go to and I realized that I definitely got to go there. What are those bubbles? What is that? I got to go there guys. All right. I, I basically have to go down this mountain, cross uh, down there, maybe pick that line right there. That's the highest peak that takes me over there. So let me hurry up. All right, let's go. I went up and over a hill and I'm a lot closer now. I'm exactly at 8,500 feet of elevation gain. And the day I filmed the UFO, it came from that peak in between the two like that, like in the middle here, like shoo. not in between, but behind it. And then I caught it on the other side as well. That was pretty cool. Let's get up there and see what the fuss is all about. came from that peak over there as I make my way up to the other two peaks. And right here, there are cans and bottles everywhere surrounding this tree. Old bottles and cans. This fella here. Look at them facing, they're facing that way. These are facing this way. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just kicked that one. Yeah, look at all the items. Human items, old bottles, jars. And they're surrounding this tree here. Like someone came up here to drink, eat, I'm not sure, or Something has collected all these items and brought it right here. Because I'm going up there. I'm almost there. Look at the size and shape of this giant boulder. Like a bird. It's like a giant bird facing the valley. It's got a hut with a sight stone over there. Look at the size of this thing. It takes up my whole screen giant nest with the stones like we've been seeing but the size the size you got that one there which is huge too you got this one takes up my whole screen and then there's one going down the hill there as I make my way up to the top let me tell you the temperature today wow The big stuff, man. Wowza. 
Wowza, wowza, wowza. All right, let's go. Standing straight up right next to the other one, right below the two incredible forks. Right here, in between the two forks. As I suspected, getting up to the top, a giant boulder here suspended on smaller stones such as this one as you can see two different kind of stones have been used here gently placing it down not to rip it and the back support stone lifting it up just looking at it from below all these stones here are placed right there there's another one up in the back that goes up and over like that there's a cutie boulder right there off the edge so let's have a look yeah, this is where I got to come up to and spend more time up here. The size of the boulders up here. Look at the view. I was in that pyramid earlier. And now I'm here. I spent a lot of my time flying the drone and trying to set it up. Not even sure if I recorded any footage. So I got to start making my way back. But this is a place to come and hang out. Let's keep looking a little bit more. Yeah, look at it from here. Humongous. And right here at the base of it, large stone pile right here. Oh, that's cool. Look at the pile. Like, they see me walking around here all the time. They know exactly what I'm doing. See where my tripod is? I just walked all here. Look at where my foot is. It's like a walkway to make it up to this hole. These holes here. I'm gonna try to go that way first and then loop back around to film these holes here. path here. Strange, unique little holes. from that pyramid. Let's go to the X-Rock. The X-Rock and the crow. He's still around. That's pretty cool. This X-Rock here standing up is being supported by this stone here with the perfect fit. And then this here is the last wedge with stone stacks in between. All architecture, not crumbles. This didn't crumble from down the hill. Look at the fit, the fit of that one, this one, with that one, it's all connected. Everything is connected. 
I want to go up there, but I, I got to get out of here. That piece of slab is being supported by a stone behind it. How beautiful this stone is. I've only seen two of them in the mountain. It's very pretty. It's got a great feel to it. Good shape. Starting off with a bunch of megalithic boulders that are all propped up here in a line. The typical propping we see, and then this giant one has got a huge nest right behind it. Pretty big nest. Stones standing up. We're gonna make our way up and over. There's a bunch of stones over here, so I wanna walk up that way. Not sure if you remember that from previous videos where that craft flew by, those rocks, those are the rocks. I'm on the other side of those rocks now. I'm looking for that craft. Not the craft that we saw in the sky, but the craft with the stones. Thank you for joining once more. More of the same. More of the same. seems to be a walkway going up that way so I'm gonna take that way it's a few things that are placed in my opinion here we start off with this big boulder here it's onto that one there it's just right off the edge and this one here is doing the same thing the one right here it's also propped up Up here, this one that's propped up has a circular eye on it. Let's go check it out. Directly above it is another one that's huge. Of course, this one has a mouth. It looks like a face looking down. Support rocks in the back. All the support rocks. This big giant bubble is standing straight up here and it's supported by a megalithic stone right there. A bunch of stones that have been stuffed on this side. This is the one that I saw from down there that looks like a face with a big eye. It's a one megalithic stone. Let's have a look. It's humongous. There's another one right behind it. Look at the stones. The foundations here. Have a look at the foundations. Dun, dun, dun. One on the top. This is all done up and together here, connecting onto this. 
humongous set of stones. The stones are always connected. Robin said the other day that these stones with cords are like electrical cords. And I believe it. What a great place to sit. And look at the two stones propping the whole stone up. In case you have doubts whether this is made or not. That right there, my friends. That tells you this has been put right here. And it's a great seat. Right next to this one. Also on foundation stones. One, two, three. It's a big cap. It's on three stones. Connected by all this thing here. You can have a look at these two right here. The triangular rock pointing that way. The ensemble of rocks. Wow, look at that jet. experience holy moly this is where the planes fly way up there and those UFO those fighter pilot planes went just right here wow that was crazy here's another giant one on the way with a big shim like I've been showing you look at this shim here Enormous rock. Turns out this one here that's being shimmed up is actually holding this particular one standing straight up here like this. It's got that one behind it. Looking at the back here, there's some stones in there. This has been shimmed up, holding this particular rock up like this, which is not from here. You can see it didn't fall from this piece here. It's two different type of stones right here. And on top of this one here, the grooves, the marks, whatever can move the rocks and do this type of feng shui with the rocks can do that to it as well. It's a little triangle with the feng shui bonsai growing next to it, right here on the back side. Nice little egg shaped boulder like we've seen before with another one standing up leaning over right here on a very steep incline.